So today I'm going to walk you through setting up a Ubuntu virtual machine under Hyper-V. So first thing you're going to want to do is pull up your Hyper-V manager and go on over here to the new actions and virtual machine. First thing you want to do is give it a name. and choose a location for it. Uh, 512 megabytes of RAM is plenty for our purposes. Uh, for a connection we just choose the default although it's something we will change later on. And then for the size i um, just going to go ahead and give it 10 gigabytes although when it's installed it only takes about roughly 3 but it gives us some room to grow. And now we're going to select to install from an uh, image file we have downloaded, or you can use a DVD if it got burned. And go ahead and hit next and finish, and it will create your virtual machine. So, first thing we want to do here now that the virtual machine is set up is go into our settings. And then we're going to want to add a legacy network adapter and just choose the first option. And then we're going to go to the other network adapter and simply disable it. Um, I believe this is because there is a problem with uh, the default network adapters provided by Hyper-V uh, before you install the integration tools. And we can go ahead and fire up our test machine. So choose your language options, install Ubuntu, if you need to break out of your Hyper-V window, press Control alt left arrow or Control alt break to put it into full screen mode. So once the installer is loaded, it's pretty simple to go through it. Um, first thing is again, just choose your language. Then select your time zone. The keyboard options. Now since we're doing this on a virtual machine, we simply choose to use the entire disk. Give your computer a name, and for the purpose of the rest of the tutorials, we're going to show you how to set it up with uh, Active Directory. So uh, for most of these, we've just given it a name of local, and not a name of one of our Active Directory accounts, just to make it easier to determine later on whether things are working. And then choose whatever you want for your options down here for login and hit next. And all of the options are good so you can go ahead and click install. And I found it averages around, around 20 to 30 minutes, so be patient. So once the installation is complete, you can just go ahead and hit restart in the virtual machine. Also remember throughout your installation to kind of just go into that virtual machine and click, because sometimes I found it didn't uh, update the screen at certain points. So just go ahead and hit enter. So now our virtual machine uh, is going to boot up for the first time. So 
So now just log in for the first time using the account you created. So you can go ahead and update the system and um, that's it for setting up an Ubuntu virtual machine under Hyper-V Manager and it's taken us just about 30 minutes.